Welcome to an early morning game. The ISB Sports Network. 31 seconds to go here in the warm-ups. It's going to be uh, about an 8.28 start time local. It's a wonderful 5 below 0 outside. Nice and cozy in here, though. Elk River takes on Champlain Park, the Rebels. Come in there in the middle of the district. As far as rankings go, Elk River, of course, losing to Anoka, drops them. In a dead even tie with Blaine, I believe, and potentially a step behind Centennial. I did not double check the standings before this game. Quick reminder on Thursday, I will be unable to stream the game. I will be out of town. I'm not sure if someone else will be streaming or not. If so, I'll make sure that they get the link sent out on GroupMe, but more than likely that game will not be streamed, just so you know. Last time Elk River played Champlain Park, we played against their big goalie, number 35. He's probably about 6'3 in net. I'm not sure if he'll be getting the start tonight, but he played very well against us. Even though we outshot them, I think we only won that game by one or two goals. So watch for that. Also, there's been some line changes. Schultze is sick, and so he will be unavailable for this one. Which means that Lerberg and, and Millis, I think, have been moved up to play forwards in this game. At least that's how it looked in warm-ups, and if that's the case, Elk River will be rolling 4-D. We'll just see how that materializes. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just watching warm-ups to see what I think is going to happen. Although I'm looking now, and it looks like Lerberg's back on defense, so they probably moved Millis up. Lerberg will be back on D. So scratch everything I just said a minute ago. With the exception of Schultz, he is out. And Schultz, hey, if you're watching, we miss you, bud. All right, we get started. Champlin's got the puck on their own blue line. They're going to throw it into the elk zone. Becker will chase it down. Brady slings it along the kick plate. Comes over to Jacobson. Oh, there's an early penalty. Wow, that was fast. It's a penalty on Jacobson. Call is... Interference. So 15 seconds into this one, we already have a penalty. And the Elks Killers will come out and have to fight one off. Brady Hansen has it now below the goal line. Champlin gets the turnover. They're going to throw it down low. There's a slide across. Graham had come out to play the puck, and Champlin couldn't connect, so Becker's now going to bring it to the neutral zone, into Champlin's zone. He makes a move around a player, shoots, and the goalie is able to save that one. Looks like Champlin is playing the big number 35 in net. Graham Carlson gets the start for the Elks. Champlin controls off of the faceoff. We're going to bring the bring the puck out of the zone, uncontested. Of course, we're on a penalty kill for another minute 24. There's a pass down low, below the goal line. Champlin then plays it back along the boards. Champlin just playing pass and catch. They're going to try to throw it out front. They threw it out to an elk. That's Rafferty who's going to be happy to throw it out of the zone. Good four check by Rafferty. He's got the puck. He throws it back. Oh, he tries to hit Rusty, but it gets picked off by Champlin. Now Champlin will bring it into the elk zone. Oh, that goes off a skate. And the puck comes out of the zone again. So sloppy hockey here early. Has a lot of missed passes. Puck 
comes out along the half board. Good to hear. Uh, good, to hear good to hear you're tucked in there, Andrew. Thanks for the note. It sounds like it's just going to be me on the call tonight. Andrew is, or this morning, what am I saying? Clearly I get a pass. So Andrew is uh, not going to be joining us for this broadcast. So Andrew, I look forward to having you on the next one. Although I will not be here Thursday, so it will be the one after that. Eighteen seconds remaining on the early penalty to number four. The puck comes out close to the blue line. Now it's back along the half boards. Champlin still controls on the perimeter. They have not been able to get it down low as of yet. There's going to be, oh, there's a strong pass across. Champlin picks it up, throws it out front. Number four is out of the box. And the Elks will bring it down. Along the near side, they're going to try to drop it, but Champlin bottles that up well, and they're going to throw it out of the zone all the way down to Graham. Graham makes that save. Buck goes along the far side. Far corner, and Champlin's going to try to just throw it in front, see if it's something will happen. It doesn't. Elks pick it up. There's a collision with the half wall on the Elks. Struggling here, getting it early through the neutral zone. Champlin's just picking it off and taking it right back at him. Brady's going to pick that up. He's going to throw it past Millis. Millis actually does tap it up to Jansen. Jansen slides it past him. Millis, there's a shot. Good shot by Millis there. That was a hard shot here. Brady, he's got a look. He's going to throw it. Goalie makes that save. Now Rusty pressuring on the four check. Now the puck gets thrown down into the corner. Rafferty gives chase. And the puck does eventually get batted out of the zone. Luke Hill will chase that down. And the faceoff will come all the way back into the Champlin end. 11-28 remaining here in the first period. Scoreless. Grant Schauer tries to tap that down to Salo. Eventually it gets to him. Salo's bumped off the puck and Champlin zings it out of the zone. Like slaps it out of the zone. Luke Hill retrieves that loose puck. He's going to bring it down, throw it up to Rusty. Rusty's got it now. Rusty takes a look across, tries to hit a streaking Rafferty, but Rafferty just overskated it. So now Schauer retreats the loose puck. Shower tries to hit Salo and it's an offsides on Champ. Trying to do some adjustments to get my screen level here. Puck's now below the goal line. Shower's going to pick it up. Shower's going to tap that up to Rots. Rots, nice little play off the boards. Champlin is able to slot it away, though, and they're going to bring it right back into the Elks. Oh, no, pass a couple of Elks defenders. There's a shot. Oh, and it was on the back door. There was an opening. So the two Elk defenders were caught sleeping there. Now Becker's going to bring it down in the rebel zone. Backhander on net. That floats out. Becker's working in the corner. Rots is going to come over and join on the four-check pressure. Along with Jacobson, Lerberg's going to hold. He's going to throw it down into the corner, but Champlin picks that off. Hansen now has it on his tape. Hansen circles, throws it to a Becker. And now Champlin controls. They're going to bring it out of their own zone. Oh, he makes a move at the blue line. Just stop. Now Lerberg's got it. He taps it just past an elk. And the puck eventually ends up below the goal line here. Ryland gets challenged. Becker steps in. Puck is still in the zone. The Rebels hold. They throw it below the goal line. Ryland picks it up. Backhands it to the corner. Jansen hustles over. Oh, then there's a big collision along the far wall. That's Ryland laying the boom early. That'll wake everyone up. Puck gets chipped back down to the zone. Millis is going to have to race to chase it down. It goes into the corner. Jackson streaks over. Has that 
knocked off his tape and not a lot of flow. Champlin's happy just to keep throwing it in the zone. The Elks working hard to try to get it out, but Champlin keeps picking up the puck. Finally, they get a shot on net. So the breakout, at least early on here for the Elks, not working. Champlin was able to get some quality zone time on that shift. Salo's got it now off the faceoff. He plays it across to Rafferty. Rafferty's going to skate it into the Rebel zone. He shoots it. That goes off the goalie up into the netting. So that'll stop the clock with 8.52. I'll make that adjustment here. Remaining here in the first. Still scoreless. Last night we drove up to St. Cloud. Watched North Dakota take on... The Huskies, there's a shot by Brady and a save by the goalie. North Dakota came away with the win in that one by a couple of goals. I think it was 5-3, to three. really entertaining hockey game. It was back and forth through most of the game. The play by both goalies was really good. They'll face off again tonight. North Dakota, of course, looking for the sweep. Rusty's got it now. Rusty's going to throw it across to a Salo, who is on the back door. He shoots and he scores for Elk River. So Salo is able to ring the bell for the Elks. Great assist. Salem. Even better assist. So the Elks find in the back of the net early. No, not too early. 8.23 still remaining here in the first. And the puck is tied up in the neutral zone. Oh, the hill steps up, knocks it off the tape of a Rebel. The Rebels will have to retreat. They've got it on the red line now. They backhand it into the zone. Hill's going to backhand it. Oh, it's picked off by a Rebel. He's going to feed it to another Rebel who has a nice pass play. Graham makes a real nice pass save. Stretches that lanky frame out and is able to... Nice pick off by Hill there in front of the net. Then the Alks will throw it all the way down the length of the ice. That'll be nice. Burberry had it in front of the net. He threw it up top, but it was passed. Oh, it gets to Millis. Millis has got it now, and he's all alone. He's going to take a shot. Oh, that goes off a blocker. That was a good save. Nice shot by Millis. Millis had a couple of looks early here. Millis looking really strong playing up front. Comes back to Lerberg. Lerberg uses his body to protect the puck. Tries to do a little bank pass to Jackson. It ends up in the Elks zone. Grant's got it now. Shower. Tries to play it up to Jackson. Shower's got it back on his tape. Shower's going to take it up the middle of the ice. Shower gets cut off by a couple of Rebels. And there's a call. It's an interference on Champlin Park, I believe. It is. It's an interference on number four for Champlin Park. Two minutes for interference for holding up Grant Shower on the rush. So it's a face off for the Elks and a power play. 
Champlin tries to throw it out of the zone. Ryland holds. Hanson throws it over to Rusty. Rusty back to Hanson. Hanson's going to take a look. That's deflected, but it goes wide. Hill's got it now on the near side, along the boards. Hill on the edge of the circle throws it to Hanson. Hanson throws it back to Rusty. Rusty back to Hanson. Hanson to Hill. Hill takes a shot. He had a good look from the circle, from the dot. Hanson throws it back to Hill, and we're going to do it all over again. Oh, and then <laughs> Hill tries to feed Jacobson on the back door, but Rusty has a good look. He shoots. He scores for the Elves. The Elks, the Elks cash in on the power play. So the Elk River taking advantage of scoring opportunities early here. The 608 remaining, still in the first. Elk River's going to chip that into the zone, and the four check will go to work. That's Rots in the corner. Comes out to Becker. Becker slides it up to Ryland. Ryland's got it now. Ryland's going to play it back over to Jacobson. Jacobson to Becker. Becker shoots. That goes just high. Comes out to Jacobson again. Jacobson circles. Oh, he tries to throw it to Hill. He hits him. Goes it to Ryland. Ryland shoots. That's low. There's a rebound opportunity, and Rots almost cashed in number three. The net's moving all over the place. <laughs> the net's off its moorings. That big goalie can really move that net. I don't know if you saw it slide on, on the stream, but that net must have moved one foot one way and then another foot all the way to the other side. That obviously drew the whistle. Millis picks up the puck. He throws it into the slot, but it gets deflected. Ryland, or that was Shower, stepped up and held it, at least for a split second, until the Rebels picked it off and knocked it off his tape and took it out of his own. Now the Rebels throw it in on net. Graham just decides to eat it. With a couple of Rebels in the vicinity, he decided it was better to cover it, go to the faceoff. Looks like we've got a ice issue on the other end. The officials grabbed the water bottle. And he's applying some water to the uh, mooring posts to make sure that net stays in place on the rebel end. Give the ref a little cameo here. Looks like we're ready to drop the puck. Grant Shower throws it back into the corner. It's on the far corner, below the goal line. Grant Shower steps up and, oh, gets past the Rebel. Right through his skates. Oh, and the good forecheck by Jackson. Oh, and the good back check by the Rebels. It's a physical hard play down here in the corner. Rebels are now bringing it up through the neutral zone. Shower cuts him off. He's going to chase it down. He's contested the whole way. He swats it over to the sidewall. Oh, and escapes just past a couple of elks. There's a shot on net. Graham makes the save. And the puck is bouncing around. So the Rebels had a couple of looks. Jackson tries to hit a streaking Millis on the far side. That was the end of his shift. He was gassed. Good forecheck here by Jansen. Jansen's going to tap it over just past Rafferty. Bouncing puck comes out of the zone. He taps it along the half boards, along the kick plate. Comes down into the Rebel zone. Puck is now below the goal line. Salo with a strong forecheck. Salo's going to pick it off. He throws it right out front, but there was not an elk in sight. Now Salo's got it back on his tape. Salo's trying to cycle it up. Rafferty came up to play it. Comes out to Hanson. Back to Salo. Salo's got it on his tape again, but the Elks were offsides, and that'll force a whistle and a stoppage. So 
Ruskin in the faceoff. Dotty wins that faceoff to Ryland. Ryland's got it now. He's going to dump that into the zone, and Rafferty will go to work for the Elks. That's B Raff. Puck comes up. Close to the top of the blue line, but Rusty comes away with it. Rusty's got it now. He's going to just do a little backhander. Salo's got a look. He throws it. There's another shot up front. Lerber's going to step up. Lerber shoots. Oh, he looks for the deflection. Rafferty deflects it wide. Salo's got it again back in the safe. He's going to hit Lerberg in the slot. Lerberg shoots. Oh, he's got another shot. Lerberg shoots just over the net. A couple of opportunities there for Lerberg, and guess what? The net is off again, unfortunately. And the official, the official seems a bit frustrated with the fact that the net has come off again. Both officials now are over there working on it. Big, strong goalie like this, he's going to push that. If that thing's not secured, he's going to push that off its moorings the whole game. So the officials are doing what they can to try to get it secured. Official shakes his head out of frustration. Lerberg's got it now. Lerberg carries it into the corner. Lerberg plays it over to Jacobson. Jacobson right up front to Rocks. We had a look, but he had a strong back check, so he couldn't get a shot off. Now Becker chases it down. It goes into the corner. Rots helping out. Now Jacobson goes to the far side. And it does come out of the zone. A couple of Elks over skated. Champlin's got it now through the neutral zone. They're going to take a shot from downtown. It goes wide. Graham makes the save. I'm sorry. It goes on net. Graham makes a pad save. Becker now streaks up the middle of the ice. He goes past the Rebel. Comes on Ryland's save. Ryland shoots. That's just wide. The puck's hitting right out front. But there's a penalty behind the play. I think it's a penalty. Yep, it is. On 16 for the Rebels. And that is a hook. So the officials calling a tight one here early in the morning. The Elks are back on the power play. Three oh six remaining here. I'll fix the time eventually. Oh, comes out of the zone. Hill will have to retreat. Hill hits Rustead. Rustead's got it now. Plays it to Hill. Hill to Jacobson. Jacobson to Ryland. Ryland over to Rusty. Rusty in the far circle plays it to a streaking hill. We had a good look on the back door, but it goes wide. Gets just past Rusty, and the Rebels are going to come up with a two-on-one opportunity here. Uh oh he curls back, and now he's just going to throw it into the zone all the way across into the near corner. Jacobson picks up that loose puck, makes an empty little move, then he makes a real nice pass up to Hill. Hill plays it over to Rafferty. Rafferty back to Hill. It was behind Hill, so those two run into each other, and... The puck is now below the goal line. Jacobson plays it up to Hill. Hill plays it across to Ryland. Or uh, Shower. Shower to Rusty. Oh, Rusty has that deflected right back onto his tape. Grant takes a shot, and it goes into the net. It goes past everybody, and Grant Shower is able to score for the Elks. 3 up in Elk River. This is the performance the coaches were looking for out of this Elk River team after a disappointing loss to Anoka in the district. What we like to call a confidence builder. Big scoreboard's not working today, not sure why. It's the big scoreboard that hangs directly above right there. Shower's got it now. Shower's going to chip it up to Jackson. Jackson's got it. Jackson's going to shoot, and that's in the glove. Good shot by Jackson. Goalie was able to glove that one. Faceoff goes into the corner, rings along the kick plate all the way to the opposite side where Brady steps up to hold it. Now Jackson's got it. Jackson's going to 
look at Grant and then decide to throw it around to the other side. So the Elks cycling the puck here below the goal line. Jansen picks it up. Jansen now skates the top of the circle, feeds Jackson. Jackson shoots just wide. Millis picks up the puck. Millis has got it now. Millis circling. Millis top of the slot. Makes a move. Got a look. Shoots. It goes off the goalie's mask. Mills with a stick check to retain possession of the puck. Throws it to Hanson. Hanson's going to shoot it on net. It's a low shot. The goalie makes the save. It comes out. The Elks couldn't get a tape on the rebound, so it'll be slung all the way down, and it'll be an ice. Champlin relieves the pressure here by Elk River. If the shots are accurate, it's 17 to 8 Elks right now. And Elk River up by three goals. Becker now on the face-off dot for Elk River. Puck comes out to Lerberg. Lerberg's going to shoot. That gets deflected and goes wide. Now Rotz picks it up. Oh, it's knocked off Rotz's tape, and the Rebels will be able to finally get it out of the zone. They're going to carry it up. And there's a pass. A shot right up front, and Graham makes the save. So Graham looking sharp early. Becker now comes to the face-off dot for the Elks. The puck is tied up along the near boards. It's knocked out. That was Becker who had stepped up in the top of the slot, picked it off, and he's going to carry it through the neutral zone. He gets challenged, and he challenges him right back, so there's, <laughs> there's a little uh, back and forth going on, but... The Rebels come away with it through the neutral zone. Lerberg's going to take his guy wide. He skates around into the goal line. Lerberg's still pestering him. And, oh, Lerberg's going to get called for a stick infraction. And the Elks will go to the penalty box with eight seconds remaining in the period. Well, I take that back. I thought it was Lerberg who was going to go to the box. It was Jacobson for a trip behind the play. So the Rebels will have a power play with eight seconds remaining here in the period. Rebels get it off the faceoff. There's a shot, and that gets deflected wide. Two seconds remaining, that'll end the period. So the Elks are able to put the puck in the net three times. We're not going to resurface. We're going to keep playing here. in the corner. Sorry, I was adjusting the clock there. And Champlin's going to bring it with some speed into the Elk zone. They're going to take it down below the goal line. Of course, we've switched sides. 
Brady challenges along with Ryland. Two Hanson brothers paired up on defense again today. Actually, there's five D, so they will be paired up on and off throughout the game. There's a shot that gets deflected. Graham makes the save, and the Elks clear it. So Champlin on the power play got a good look. Graham made the save. He was equal to the task. Champlin's going to bring it with speed up through the neutral zone again on the near side. He's going to drive down. He drops it. He shoots, but Rust over the good stick knocked it away before he could get a shot off. Champlin now controls, throws it to the point. There's a shot that goes wide. There's another shot. Graham makes the save. And the Elks tried to clear it out. It goes off the half boards, but it's still in the zone. Champlin still controls. Champlin goes D to D up towards the blue line. Champlin throws the top of the circle, throws it in on net, tries to chip it in, but Graham is able to deflect that. The puck gets sent down into the near corner. Puck comes all the way up to the top. Then they throw it back down to the circle. Ryland carefully doesn't board his guy. Good play by Ryland there not to railroad that guy with his head into the boards. There's a shot that gets blocked. That was Ryland. It went off his stomach, I think. It went off something in his... <laughs> He's playing with his gear, so I think he thought the puck was in his gear, but it actually had ended up in the corner. Thirteen twelve remaining here in the second. Elks trying to fight off a two-minute penalty here. Three, two, one, and he should be out of the box. Puck comes out to half court, as I like to call it, or half ice. Gets chipped into the zone. Champlin will retreat. Carter chases after it. There's a collision below the goal line. Carter gets back on his skates and chips it to Grant. Back, Grant back to Carter. Jackson picks it up, takes a good shot. The goalie cuts the angle and makes a bad save. There's a collision behind the net, and it's a penalty on the Elks. That's on number six for the Elks. So, Champlin now and takes it down, but Shower rides his guy off the puck. So that is going to be a penalty on Elk River, and Elk River will have to kill off another two minutes. They're saying it's a cross check. Very vocal official here today. Every time he's saying something about a faceoff, I think he's giving a bench minor to someone. The puck comes out of the zone, so Champlin will have to retreat out of the zone. Now they enter again on the near side along the wall. Grant Shower challenges, cuts off his guy, reverses direction, but he is ridden off the puck. And Grant tries to clear. Champlin holds. Champlin's going to skate it down. Takes a shot. There's a nice pad save. There's another shot. That goes off a blocker. And Graham saving everything so far here for the Elks. Puck now behind the net. Grant Shower's going to pick it up. Grant Shower's going to carry it with some speed on the near side. He's going to be happy to throw it in. Just chip it into the zone. And Salo's got it now on his tape. Salo circling. He's going to throw it below the goal line again. About a minute nine remaining on the penalty to Will Jansen. A lot of penalties here on both teams early. The first two periods. And the puck goes below the goal line again. Becker is chasing and pestering. Now the puck comes out again. And Rylan Hansen will throw it back below the goal line. Here comes Rafferty to chase him. Pester as well. Oh, he, nice little move by the Rebel player, he skates by a couple of Elks. He's on the far side, he drops it into the top of the slot, a shot that goes above Graham's head. Graham did one of those raise your glove up and duck moves. As it soared about, probably about three feet above his head. It's a hard shot. Rebels now in their own zone, they're gonna carry it up through the neutral zone. They're pestered by Rafferty and Rusty. Rafferty's still working on the Rebel. Then Rusty comes in, 
late. Ryland chips it out of the zone, chips it off the half wall to a diving Rusted. Rafferty tries to pick it up. Jansen overskates it. And now here come the Rebels as several Elks overskated it. They're going to bring it into the zone, but both defenders were back for Elk River. So Lerberg's going to pick it up now off the wall. Throws it just past Salem, but it ends up on Jansen's stick. Jansen, oh, the defender falls down. Jansen's got a look, and he hits the glove. Jansen had a golden opportunity there all alone in front of the net. But the goalie is able to glove it. Nice save by that big rebel goalie. Kid's got to be all of 6'3", 6'4". Towers well above the net. Mills is able to hold the zone. Oh, just for a second. It does come out. Shower's got it now. Grant's going to try to play that up to Will Jansen. The Rebels are able to break up that play. The Rebels continuing to pressure. They're going to bring it into the Elks zone. The puck's bouncing around. There's kind of a half shot by the Rebels and deflects high up into the netting. That'll stop the clock with 9.31 remaining here. Not what I would call a big crowd here this morning. This is about as sparse as it has been, but that's probably what you'd expect at 8.20 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I'm looking at the, the, the Rebel parents here. There's probably about eight or nine, maybe ten hockey moms and a, few, a spattering of dads, and that's about it on this side. Elks try to play it across. It gets broken up. Pass was a little bit behind him, so the puck comes all the way into the Elk zone. There's a shot. Graham makes the save with 9.05 remaining here in the second. Shots are 20 to 15 Elks. Graham's seen much more action here in the second than he did in the first. Try to zoom in here for you a little bit. That puck goes wide. Elks retrieve. Intercepted by the Rebels. The Rebels backhanded into the zone. The Elks will chase it down. Grant Shower now taps it up to Jacobson. Jacobson hits Becker, but it was in a skate, so it comes... Oh, oh it's Puck's bounce around. Sorry, I thought it was in the neutral zone. <laughs> Becker applying the pressure. And the Elks throw it right below the goal line again. Champlin's first to the puck. Salo steps up, picks it off, taps it over to Becker. Becker's got it on his tape. Becker with a nice little mohawk. Throws it up top. Shower shoots. And the puck was bouncing around for a second. Shower steps up, holds his own. Good aggressive play by Grant. The Elks have it now below the goal line. Champlin tries to throw it out of the zone. Nice hold by Rafferty. Puck still below the goal line. Becker first to the puck. He taps it up to Hill. Hill's got it now. He's going to make a move. Oh. Misfires, and the puck gets sent all the way down to Graham. Ryland spins, throws it on a change. The Elks have the three on none. There's a shot. The puck's right up front. Oh, and a nice save. How that didn't go in, I don't know. It must have been deflected off a skate or a shin pad. And the Rebels will bring it back into the zone. Ryland picks it up. Ryland looking again for the home run pass. Hits Rafferty. Rafferty on the far side. b Raff is in the corner. And there's a pile up. A scrum. A gaggle. Whatever you want to call it. One of the things I noticed in the college game last night, when a player has a puck along the boards like that, they leave the puck about four feet from them, and they tie up the player about four feet from the puck so their teammate can pick it up and take it. I guess those are little tricks that you learn as you get older. 
The Rebels are going to take it down the near side. They're going to shoot it, but it gets deflected. It never ends up on net. Ryland races over, knocks it out of the zone, and Millis is now in a foot race. Millis battles with the Rebel. Millis wins that battle. Millis has got the buck. Millis swings, shoots. That goes off the goalie or the corner. I couldn't tell which. The corner of the net, that is. Hansen holds the zone. Hansen throws it below the goal line. The Elks come up to hold the zone. Lerberg now steps up. Lerberg's going to backhand it, but the Rebels pick it off. Now Hansen's got it. Hansen throws it down into the corner, and Millis is going to go after that one. Elks with some really good zone time. Millis tried to backhand it to the D. Rebels now controlling the zone. Oh, they're out of the zone. They run into the official. There's <laughs> and Jackson streaks in. He chips it down to the corner. He's working hard. Jackson now is still working on it. Jansen comes over. Now it's in the near corner. Still in the Rebel zone. The Rebels are able to clear it out. They've got numbers. Two on two. The Elks are hustling back, though, and it's an offside. Hate it when that happens. 5.32 remaining here in the second. Shots 22-16. Elks. Elks come away with it. It gets deflected. Lerberg attempted a cross ice pass. It got deflected, so it's now below the goal line. Hansen retreats, picks it up, slings it across to Jacobson. Oh, Jacobson thought he had a center to pass it to, but nobody was home, so the Rebels picked it up. And they throw it right out front. The puck was there in the middle for a second. Now Becker's got it. The Elks play it through the neutral zone. That's Rotz providing the pressure. Rebels tap it, and Lerberg with a nice stick, knocks it off the tape and eliminates the threat. The Elks will throw it into the zone and go to work on the forecheck. The puck is now below the goal line. Oh, Roth over skates it, and the puck comes out. Now the Rebels take it down. They try to challenge Hill. Hill, good stick, knocks it away. Hill comes away with it. Hill's going to throw it all the way up the ice. He's trying to hit Rafferty, who was tapping his stick, saying, I'm right here, hit me. And the Rebels throw it out of the zone. That shower retreats, throws it over to Rusty, and it must have been an offsides. As the whistle was blown, and the play was deemed dead on arrival. Right below us here, Rusty's in the face-off dot. He's flanked by Solo. And the official unhappy about something Rusty did in the face-off dot. All right, the Elks come away with that one. Grant's going to throw it below the goal line. You know, being in the face-off dot's kind of like NASCAR, you know? you got to gotta cheat a little. <laughs> and sometimes you get caught, sometimes you don't. Rafferty's got it now. Rafferty's going to take it down the near side. Oh, he forgot the puck. And here comes the Rebels. They're going to try to take it down, but Grant does a really nice job of taking body and eliminates that threat. Official cracks me up. He's a pretty vocal guy. Reminds me of like a strict school teacher. Jansen's got it now. Jansen in the neutral zone. Oh, he tries to hit a streaking Millis. Never got the pass off. Champlin brings it into the zone. They, oh, they did a little give and go. A nice little play. They couldn't connect on the go. They had the give part down. 
Now Jackson on the far side. Jackson shoots it. It's right off front. There's a rebound opportunity. The goalie did a great job of sliding back over. That was Jansen who got a shot off. Mills going to wind up shoot. That goes wide. The puck is in the corner, and Jansen's going back to the penalty box for an elbow. So number six. To the penalty box for the Elks. Forty-seven remaining here in the second. In case you didn't hear that official, we'll call him the school teacher. He said two minutes for elbowing. So what happens in those checks is if you bring your elbow up high around, let's just say your shoulder height, you try to give them a little forearm shiver, they're going to get called, and that's what that was. See that quite a bit. The solution to that is you just keep your elbows down. Salo now behind the Rebel goal line. The puck is buried back there. Salo trying to kill off as much time as, or as much part of this penalty as he can. Puck ends up on the Elk River tape. There's a two on none. And the Elk slide it across. Salo gets a shot off. The goalie makes the save. Really good opportunity there for Elk River to add to the lead. The Rebels bring it into the zone. Play it to the top of the circle. That gets blocked by Ryland. The Elks pick it up the loose puck. Oh, but it got intercepted and there was a disconnect at the blue line and that created an offside situation. One forty one remaining here in the second. Puck is chipped along the far side. There's a shot that goes off the side of the netting. Jackson's got it now. Jackson's going to bring it into the zone. He throws it across to JJ. JJ throws it out front. But nobody was home for the Oaks. Sorry, I lost visual on the puck here. I can't see it when it's along the boards right underneath me. It goes below the goal line. And they all step up, and they are able to get it out of the zone. The Rebels will have to retreat, pick up that puck. Elks will change, change behind the play. Five seconds remaining now on the penalty. Hill picks up the loose puck. Hill throws it up to Rusty. Rusty taps it to b -Raff. b -Raff throws it below the goal line. And the Rebels fighting to get it out of the zone. Rusty has it along the half wall on the far side. b -Raff tries to throw it out front to a streaking Salo. But he was cut off and I think the goalie gloved it. 23 seconds remaining here in the second frame. Teams are back at full strength. Now let's pick it up along the half wall on the far side. Rusty throws it right out front. Comes out to Lerberg. Lerberg's going to shoot. That gets deflected. Rusty's got it now. Back to Lerberg. Lerberg's going to cycle down low. Lerberg throws it down low to Salo. Salo steps up, lays it back to Lerberg. Lerberg holds. Lerberg throws it back to Salo. And that will do it for the end of the period. We're going to clean the ice. We'll see you back in 15.
drop the puck on the third period. We've swept the ice. Both teams are stretched out. They're ready to go. Scoreboard's up and running. Official's waiting, and looks like he's ready. Blows the whistle, drops the puck, and we're... Oh, they flub it off the faceoff. It's the Rebels, that is. Yeah, they pick it up again through the neutral zone. On the half wall. Rebels now below the goal line. They come away with it off the wall. They're going to carry it to the slot. There's a turnover. Rods is going to backhand it out of the zone. The Elks will be in a race to chase it down. Oh, there's a big collision along the far wall. The skates got tied up. Looks like both players are back up on their skates and just fine. Champlin now controls the puck behind their own goal line. Being pressured, though, by the Elks forecheck. Champlin's going to play it. Cross ice through the neutral zone. He gets cut off. Hanson loses half of his equipment. Stick, glove. He'll have to chase that down. Mills will chip it down into the corner. Hanson's without a stick, so he'll come off the ice, and Hill will pop on for him. There's a wipeout and a trip. That's Jansen who is tripped. So the Elks will have an early power play here in the third. Number 11 for the Rebels will go to the box for two. Trippy. The professor tells us what the penalty is. Elks control off the face off. They control along the blue line. They throw it down into the slot, actually to the far side to Hill, who is trying to streak in towards the net. Hill plays it to Jacobson. Jacobson up to Ryland. Ryland plays it across to Rusty. Rusty back to Ryland. Ryland to Hill. Hill throws it across ice. It's right out front. Jacobson tries to jam it home. It pops out to Rusty. Rusty's got it now to Ryland. Ryland walking the blue line, throws it out front. It gets deflected and up into the corner. Ryland holds. Oh, oh, Champlin might have had a breakaway, but it gets caught up in the official skates. It's another thing we noticed from the college game last night. College officials, they'll jump over the puck. At this level, there's no jumping. The official is considered an obstacle. Puck is held up along the boards here. b -Raff comes away with it, but it was an offsides. 12.34 here remaining in the third. Little Michael Jackson on the Speaker system by request. Good call, Aaron. That's pretty funny. And there's a turnover at the blue line by the Rebels. That'll draw a whistle. Becker in the faceoff down to the Oaks. He'll win it back to. I think it was. Grant's got it now. Grant's going to take it below the goal line. He throws it up to Millis, who's on the blue line, over to Grant. Grant plays it over to Hill. Hill back to Grant. Grant throws it on net. There's a rebound opportunity. But the Alks couldn't get there first. Shower's got it out behind the net. The Elks will bring it up, throw it up to Becker. Becker's going to chip it forward to himself, and he's going to race to the puck. He's going to shoot. That goes off the pad. The puck's right out front. And the Rebels throw it out of the zone. They race back a couple of Elks. Here's a breakaway and a trip. 
Oh, the Alex will go to the penalty box after uh, what would be a pretty obvious trip. I think we might have a penalty shot here. Grant will go to the box for two. It was a pretty obvious trip. So it is going to be a penalty shot. So the Rebels with their best opportunity. Graham is center stage for the Alps, and here we go. 11-16 here remaining. There is a penalty shot coming up. said no goal. He waved it off, I think. I think he's saying no goal. I'm not sure. He says no goal. The professor waved it off right away. So the face off's in the zone. I no explanation to the bench. I guess they said he made one too many moves. I, I don't know. Regardless, the goal was waved off. The professor took no time in waving it off. He said no goal right away. it down now, comes flying through the neutral zone on the near side, backhands it right out front, but the Rebels picked it off and they throw it all the way the length of the ice. Millis has the puck now for the Elks. Top of the slot. Elks now in the slot. Turn it over, and the Rebels will chip it out of the zone. There's a foot race here. Ryland wins the foot race, makes a couple of moves. Oh! Gets deflected, but it ends up on the Elks tape. Jackson's got it now. Jackson drives the net. Jackson makes a couple little moves, goes around the back of the net. Jackson throws it up top to Hill. Hill's going to shoot. There's a deflection right out front, but the Rebels... Pick it off, go high off the glass. Shower holds with a skate. Shower now throws it to Jackson. Jackson circles, brings it into the zone, taps it backhand to Jansen. Jansen right out in front, makes a nifty little move and scores for the Elks. So Janner connects, skates past the goalie, makes a little funky move and scores. Finally the Elks put the fourth up on the board. Seems like it's been a long hot summer since that happened. Meaning that the last goal came in the first period so we, we had a whole entire second period without a score and then finally the Elks were able to connect on that one. I think that was Janner from Jackson. I'll need my official statistician team to look that up. Of course, I don't have one, so I'm just guessing. But if anyone's willing, we have a job opening. 4 nothing Elks, 9.36 remaining here in the third. Elks shoot just wide. Elks trying to hold the zone, but the Rebels are able to chip it out. Yeah. 
Rotz picks up a deflection, takes it into the zone, throws it right out front. There's a shot, and that was a goal. Oh, oh, oh I think that was in the net. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to see that replay. Well, it's no goal regardless. Puck is now in the far corner. The Rebels trying to get it out of the zone, and they are able to. They'll bring it through the neutral zone. They're going to shoot from outside the blue line on Graham, and he just covers it up. 8.58 here remaining in the third period. Rafferty's got it now. Rafferty's down the near wall. Ships it off the boards. Down into the zone. Oh, it's an offsides. Or, no, it's an ice. Excuse me. It'll come all the way back in the off zone. We'll have to do that all over again. Elks carry it through the neutral zone. Rusty's on the far side, plays it across to a Salo. He gets challenged, and the Rebels come away with it. There's a penalty on the Elks. That's a hold on Elk River. Elk River will have to kill off the penalty. Challenge behind the net. Champlin controls at the point. Oh, he falls down and the Elks pick up the loose puck. That's Rusty who's got it. Rusty's going to try to drive on net. He shoots. And the goalie's able to make the save, but the faceoff will be in the Rebel zone. So the Rebel player lost his footing. The Elks picked up the loose puck and had a scoring opportunity shorthanded. 142 remaining on the penalty. Elks played up to Lerberg. Lerberg's going to throw it down low behind the goal line. Elks will chase that sail over in the corner. And the Rebels are able to bring it out of the zone. Rebels now have it up by the blue line. They're going to throw it down in the corner. Rebels working on Lerber. Lerber comes away with it. Tips it over to Hanson. Hanson's got it now. Hanson carries it up the half wall. Hanson's going to chip it all along. Oh, it takes a weird carom. Ends up right, almost right in front of the goalie. It was bouncing along the soft plate on the top of the half boards. And it came out weird in front of the net. It took a weird carom. The Rebels now circling in their own zone. They're going to try to throw it into the neutral zone, but Brady steps up and picks that off. Now the Rebels will bring it into the Elks zone. They're trying to set it up. 30 seconds remain on the penalty. There's a shot, and Graham sees it the whole way and pulls that into his chest. Faceoff will be in the Elks zone. Graham's ready. The Elks have it below the goal line. They're controlling, at least for the time being. And that looks like it's a trip on the Rebels. So Becker draws a penalty for the Elks. And the Rebels will go back to the box. So 
Well, so far, a lot of stoppages for penalties here in the third. Champlin gets called for the trip. Rafferty comes to the face-off dot for the Elks. Ryland steps up to hold the zone, backhands it, pucks bouncing around, and the Rebels get it out of the zone. Ryland's got it now under control, throws it to Hill. Hill throws it over to Rusty. Rusty taps it forward, or tries to tap it forward. He's challenged the whole way into the corner and taps it back to b -Raff. Pucks in the corner still, and the Rebels trying to get it out of the zone. Hill skates along the blue line. Hill uses his body to protect, throws it right up front. There's a shot on net. I think that was Jacobson. <laughs> Professor tells us what's going on. And We'll have another face off deep in the rebel zone. Puck is along the near side here. Ryland steps up to chip it back in. Number four goes to work for the Elks. There's a collision behind the net. Rusty picks it up, throws it up top to the blue line. Ryland taking a look. Ryland skates it to one side, throws it to the other. Rusty shoots and it goes off a pipe. Rusty's still got it on his tape. Rusty with all kinds of time and space. Ryland's got it now. The Elks on the power play. Ryland to Rusty. Rusty at the dot. Takes a shot. That goes off the goalie. The Elks still control. JJ's got it now. Throws it up to Hill. Hill plays it across to Ryland. Ryland shoots. That gets deflected up top and comes out of the zone. And... The Rebels chip it into the Elks zone. 22 seconds remaining here on the penalty to the Rebels. The Elks control in deep in their own zone. Ryland skating it up and passes it to Hill. Hill's got it now. He comes across the red line, throws it up to Rusty, who's waiting at the blue line. Rusty's now going to drive behind the net. Rusty using his body to protect the puck. Rusty gets driven into the boards. Puck comes out to Grant. Grant chips it down low to JJ. JJ's taking a look. JJ throws it right out front. Lerberg steps up to hold. Backhands it into the corner. The Rebels got it now. They're going to take it out of the zone. Now Grant's got it. Grant's going to pass it up to Millis. Millis tries to hit a streak in Jackson. It's just ahead of him. Millis picks up the loose puck. The Elks carry it through the neutral zone. With speed on the far side. Millis on the backhand. Millis gets ridden off the puck. He goes down in a tumble. There's a big jam behind the play. No arm is up, so no harm, no foul. Millis has got it now. Millis throws it out front to a streaking Jansen, who couldn't get all of it. Jackson backhands it back into the zone. The Elks getting a lot of zone time. 346 remaining here in the third. Champlin throws it out of the zone. It goes all the way down, and that'll be an ice, and that'll stop play with 338 remaining. I like the professor. Keeps me informed of what's going on. The official drops the puck. And the Elks will continue to try to hold the zone. It comes out to Brady Hansen. Brady takes a look. There's a shot. JJ gets a rebound. A shot and a goal for the Elks. JJ on the rebound. Brady with the assist. This one up 5 nothing with 3.29 remaining here in the third. Elks play a DDD. Ryland throws it into the zone. The Elks forecheck will go to work. The Rebels will retreat. The goalie comes out to stop the puck. Rots in the corner. Puck comes out to Becker. Becker does a little backhand move. 
And Champlin tries to throw it out of the zone, but can't. Ryland holds, throws, shoots. It goes off a couple of players. It goes down into the corner. The puck comes out to the top of the slot. Champlin controls. Champlin chips it through the neutral zone. Ryland chases it down. Champlin picks up a loose puck. Shoots. Graham makes a save. Ryland picks it up again back in. Chips it off the glass and out of the zone. It bounces it off the soft plate all the way down. And that will be an icing on Elk River. Tries to play it off the half wall. Rusty is working in the deep corner. The far corner, I should say. Throws it to Lerberg. Lerberg taps it up to Rafferty. Rafferty now gets it out of the zone. Champlin's able to play it through the neutral zone. Champlin carries it down the far side. Goes around, cuts to the net. Graham makes a nice save. Salo picks up the loose puck. Bodies hit the ice. Champlin controls in their own zone. Rafferty on the forecheck. Rusty picks up the loose puck. Rusty shoots. That goes off a piece of equipment for the Rebels. The Rebels now throw it up to half ice. They're going to take it through the neutral zone, carry it into the out zone. They throw it right out front. Graham committed to one side and the puck dangerously deflects in front of the net. Now Rafferty's got it. Rafferty's going to carry it up. Graham trying to preserve that shutout. Yes, I just said it. Rafferty gets carried into the corner. 128 remaining here. Five, nothing else. Jansen knocks it down, but it does come out to half ice. And Champlin will throw it into the out zone. Graham comes up, settles down the puck. Ryland slings it along the kick plate. Throws it over to Millis. Millis backhands it. Never gets to Rusty. And the Rebels on the attack. There's another body that hits the ice. Boy, the Rebels have been cleaning the ice all day. Jansen chips it down below the goal line. He goes hard into the boards. The Rebels control their own zone. They go D to D. They're going to try to carry it out. The wing slings it across to the opposite side. The Rebels bring it on the near end. They turn it over to Jackson. Jackson controls now below the goal line. 44 seconds now remaining. He throws it up to Jackson. It gets cut off at center ice. Jackson didn't see him coming. Hit him from behind. Grant picks it up on the far side. Grant's got it in the far corner. Grant line the, behind the goal line. He tries to chip that up to Rylan, but it ends up on Millis's tape. Millis has got it now, 23 seconds remaining. Millis skates down. He controls as much as he can, but he gets ridden off the puck. And here come the Rebels. The Rebels carry it through the neutral zone, but they get stopped. Finally, they throw it down below the goal line. Grant slings it along the kick play that ends up right on Millis's tape. Oh, and Millis has that knocked off his stick at the last second. Two seconds remaining, 1-0. And that'll do it for this one. The Elks come away with a commanding victory, 5-0. Shots 35 for Elk River, 20 for Champlain Park. The Elks take down the Rebels here in a Saturday morning contest. So the Elks get a much-needed win in the district. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.